Shannon, is LeBron actually the GM of the Lakers? No, he isn't. But I'm I'm tired of y'all putting this out there on Melo. Melo was not on the banana boat. It was <laughs> LeBron. It was Gabby. It was uh, D Wade, and it was CP3. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony was not on that boat. Y'all keep bringing that man in there. He was not on the banana boat. Are you <laughs> saying you were there? You no, I'm just it? saying Melo was not there. Oh. Okay. So, with that being said. But once upon a time, allegedly, legend has it that LeBron saved Melo from drowning. Skip, two things can be true. <laughs> I mean, you could have saved him and not Did been on that boat. Did he fall off the banana boat? <laughs> I don't know. Go. Skip, look. Most times than not, especially in today's game, players go to team because of players, not because of GMs. Because if that's the case, Draymond Green is the GM of the Warriors, because who called Kevin Durant? Who called him to get from that parking lot? It wasn't Bob Myers. It wasn't Steve Kerr. It was Draymond. They got on that plane and knocked on that, interrupted that man on the 4th of July in the half. He had a good time with his family. And they come up there, Iggy and, and Clay and Steph and Draymond, interrupted that man vacation. KD. If I'm not mistaken, it was Blake Griffin that said KD recruited him. LaMarcus Aldridge. So, Skip, in today's game, this is what it is. When you're a guy like, how the hell did Paul George get to the Clippers? So it's quite little the GM. Because what did he say, Skip? If you don't get me that, I'm going there. I'm going to the Lakers. If y'all don't get me Paul George. So, in other words, he's the general manager. What we're seeing, Skip, in today's game, the players, they had the uh, uh, general manager's ownership has enough respect, says, you know what, we're going to keep these guys happy. Russell Westbrook, it was reported that Kyle Kuzma said he just knew he was going to Sacramento for the Buddy Hill. That was a done deal. And then a day later, he's on his way to D.C. because they're trading for Russell Westbrook. You don't think Rob Pelinka said, hey, hey, Brian, A.D., what y'all think? It is reported that they were already talking to, to Russ. So, Skip, th because players recruit other players, that doesn't make them the general manager. Mm. But if you're a smart general manager, you're going to run it by your best player or best players. Mm. So here's what's funny. You, you want me to fight about this when you, you should be with me on this. I've told you from the start, LeBron James is the GM of the Lakers. If you want to go de facto unofficial GM, I'll give you that. He's also the unofficial de facto head coach of the Lakers. Yes. I don't believe any move that ever gets made by the Los Angeles Lakers isn't at least run by LeBron James. And I think most of the moves that get made, he initiates those moves. I think every player they added, I think it was his idea first. In, in conference with Polink, I'm sure they're constantly texting and on sale because he, 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 here's, here's why you shouldn't fight me on this. He's earned the right to run the Lakers. No, he ain't running he, the Lakers. He's that great. Does he, he have he, a, he's earned the right to have a voice. Yes, but let me ask you this, Skip. Let's just say for the sake of argument, I'm going to ask you this honestly. Well, look, uh, Melo, Carmelo just said openly. He called him. He, he said, I ain't, you know, I ain't heard from no GM. That's right. what he said. Like, it, it's you. All I need is for you to call me, and I know that's official because he said, and I quote him, you're the GM. Let me ask you this. Kevin Durant says, Bob Myers, I want to sign with the Warriors. Steph Curry says, hell no, nah, I don't want him here. There's only one room, the big dog. I'm it. Mm -hmm. Do you believe Kevin Durant comes to the Warriors and Steph Curry says no? Well, you know what would happen. Exactly. So yeah. Steph Curry is the general manager of the Warriors. I'm saying, all I'm saying is that. It's no, I'm, I'm saying Bob Myers would say no to Steph Curry. He's you out your mind. Uh-uh. Did you Kevin what? Durant? Hold on. Hold on. What did he say on stage? What did he say well, on the stage? The problem with your hypothetical is Steph is not going to say no to but, Kevin but Durant. Just, but what did he say on stage? When it came to the money time, yep. Steph Curry earned his money. You see, he got a little tipsy. What the, and how did Kevin Durant look at it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Skip, all I'm saying is this. James Harden in Brooklyn because Kevin Durant and, and uh, um, Kyrie blessed that. If they don't bless that, James Harden is not coming to Brooklyn. Players have more power. LeBron had a lot to do with this uh, player empowerment movement. And a lot of people, especially a lot of the old guard, are resentful because LeBron and these younger players had more power and cachet in their organization than they ever had. 
and some of the players are not equal to the level mm -hmm. in which they were. And that rubs them the wrong way. Okay, I just say that in Brooklyn, if any of those big three, especially Kyrie and James, maybe Kevin, but I, I doubt it, but if any of those big three went to Sean Marks and said, we need to go get Trevor Ariza, whoever it was. They're going to go Ellington. get it. No, they're not. They're going to go get it. Sean Marks would say, no, we don't need him. Skip. He doesn't fit. Skip. All I'm saying is, is Sean Marks said that in the trade for James Harden, I ran it by Kyrie and KD. So we're not going to believe what this man yeah, said. That's James Harden. Yeah, but James Harden? I mean, that's all, like a life changer. All I'm saying is, is that the players with the cachet has a voice. And the better the player is, the stronger the voice. When well, you're talking about LeBron James. He, he has the highest IQ in basketball. He is the most decorated current player. Right? Yes. He, he is, according to you, the best player on the planet. So, he, so I'll buy into all of that cachet. Yes. You deserve to have the biggest say in the franchise. It, it, it should go all the way to Jeannie Buss, the owner and sometimes operator of the Lakers. It's, it's up to her. The buck stops on her desk, but mostly she's just deferring to LeBron. All those players who got added, you can't tell me that LeBron didn't first have the idea. All the little pieces that they added, starting with Ellington and Malik Monk and all, all yeah, those, babe. and keeping THT because LeBron loves him, and he is a clutch client. But again, were they going to trade him? Were they going to throw him in to make a trade? Nope, they were not. They were standing pat on him because LeBron said, no, we're going to need him, and he's too good. But, Skip, all I'm saying the is. The Caruso. He left because LeBron said, we'll be okay without him. Skip, all I'm saying is the more decorated a player is, the, bo the louder his voice is within the organization. Sure. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but LeBron, you know it and I know it. He's got the loudest voice in his organization in the league. Yeah, but Skip, is he not the most decorated? I the just most said that. Yes. yes. So he, he should. He deserves it. So, so, okay, so give in to it. He is the unofficial GM of the Lakers. So, so that makes Kawhi. You, you should Hold bless on. it. That, no, he's not. He's not, not as decorated. He's No, but he said he was not coming unless they got Paul George. Why is Paul George okay, there? Okay, well, at that point, he had leverage because he was free, right? So that And the Clippers were desperate. Skip, skip. And they're on their knees skip. for Kawhi because he just won about, another championship with another think MVP. Sean Marks gets a phone call from Kevin Durant. I'm signing with the Nets. There's no recruitment. No. Okay, that guy says that. You run everything you do in that organization by him. Mm-mm. I don't think he does. I think all the... LaMarcus Aldridge's and all those smaller moves down the line, even down to Patty Mills. I think that's a Sean Mark special. By the way, he earned his spurs with the spurs in San Antonio. Eight. So he knew all about Patty. He would make them aware Eight. of, he said, he would say, I'm going to add Patty Mills. No, 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 no. We want to add, what do you guys think about this? We have an opportunity to sign Patty Mills. We have an opportunity to get LaMarcus Aldridge. We have an opportunity. Blake Griffin said Kevin Durant recruited him. Sure. Well, the that's same one thing. thing but, but again, it's okay, pretty LeBron obvious. Okay, LeBron recruited uh, uh, Carmelo. Okay, fine. Okay. So how that make But a lot of him? teams wouldn't want Carmelo right now. That's up to LeBron, and that's a friendship thing. And that's, I think I can get him to do this for us. Okay, Skip. Right? Skip, if that was the case, so now, I mean, Carmelo was out of the league for a year. He was. Nobody wanted him. And I think LeBron didn't want him for a while, but LeBron sees an opening now, now that they're kind of rebuilding on the fly with a whole different cast of characters when, when Schroeder sort of flamed out on them. Mm -hmm. Then it, it, it now it fits for, for Melo to have a 15-minute role for this team because yeah. he saw what he could do as he revived his career in Portland. And, and LeBron's saying, I can use him as a spot-up three-point shooter. I get it. It hurts you that that Jerry, that Jerry Kramer, Jerry Krause, never gave in to Michael Jordan's demands. Yeah, but in, on many, I've told you before, and we've seen Michael try to be a GM. Yeah. A lot of times, Jerry Krause made the right move by saying no to Michael it's Jordan. Right. And I know that because you talk about that's the goal. He should have a say so. But Jerry Krause said no. The only move. And that wasn't that wasn't a, 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 the Dennis Rodman. They brought that to him. What do you think about if we brought Dennis Rodman on? Jordan said, get him. That wasn't Jordan saying, hey, we want Rodman. Okay, Go get Rodman. Here's the key difference. 
Obviously, LeBron is not even in Jordan's galaxy as a basketball oh, player. There you go. But See, you... as a as an eye for talent, I think LeBron has a rare eye. I think LeBron will be, if he chooses to be, I, I know he See, wants to be an owner, he could be an operator also. He could be much better than Jordan has been as a team builder, as an architect, as a a definer of talent, who can play and who can't play. See, Skip, Jordan doesn't Skip, have that Skip, eye. Skip, this is where you this is where you lose. Skip, if you if, if anybody wants to say Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player, we can have a healthy discussion. I'll debate you on that. Mm. It's just when you say LeBron James is not in Michael well, Jordan's not. galaxy. He's just see that, that's that's when I say you know what, Skip. Okay. So you, you, All right, but I'm giving you this. No, you Jordan can't, you, wouldn't be in LeBron's galaxy as an architect no, of a basketball no, team. No, 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 yeah, no, I'm no. giving it's not, you it's that. It's not the same. It's not the same. Neither one would be in the architect of an R.C. Buford because that's what they do. So, in other words, I think LeBron's got R.C. Buford. So potential. I'm saying, like I'm all I'm saying is, Skip, if you want to say Jordan is the great, by greatest, the way, R.C. Buford was a walk-on football player yeah, at Oklahoma State. Yeah. Just for the record, okay. Yeah. If you want, if you want to say. Jordan is the GOAT, mm -hmm. and many people co-sign what you're just, saying. I, I can't, it, it's but just you, too obvious to even restate it. But, but, when you, but when you say LeBron is not in the same galaxy, He's not. I, that's, that's when you lose me. Okay, well, that, that, I've lost you, but I'm trying to help you no, with this. No, no, you can't help LeBron me. LeBron should now, be the GM of the Lakers. Now, Skip, now, I'm I, don't blessing no, it. Now, now I don't even want no help. You don't? No, nope. Hurricane done came through here and got everything, and I'm the last person. Come on, Mr. Sharp. No, I'm good. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings with I'm good. the truth. Leave me. I know the truth is very painful. Leave me. Yep. Evacuate. I'll be here when you get back. I okay. won't leave you, Shannon. We can't leave I won't, you. I won't skip to leave me. I am a hurricane. How would the show go on? <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.